help Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. Our attention has been drawn to what some people in Okija are doing by using vigilante to kidnap people helping in the ongoing self-referendum. Every Biafran has the right to help anyone in remote villages. We call on the vigilante and the Igwe of that community to immediately release anyone they kidnapped in the name of voting or facing Biafrans in that community. The vigilante has 24 hours to release whoever they kidnapped that was helping people or face Biafran forces in the coming days. And if Okeja is supporting Nigeria by kidnapping Biafrans who are helping in the voting, we shall visit Okeja Vigilante. All right, that's very, very disturbing report. Uh, somebody said very disturbing report, which I got. They will hear from us. All right, another person said, honestly, our people are the most difficult to deal with. Envy and jealousy fill their heart to fear what? You see, people now say they another person say who he who have ear let him hear. Maka otale otale denaya oburu kwani maga pia mu obia flaga pia ya o. You see, another person say now woto woto we they run we they run am be one okija be one please people of okija I don't know who you want to support. Is it that you want to support Fulani that is killing you or you want to support Tinibu that is destroying your economy? What is actually the problem? What do you stand to lose if Biafra comes? They need to state it clearly. This is what they actually stand to lose. Or tell us what you stand to gain if Biafra does not come. Please help us. Because all these things are is individual differences. I know they are rough individual differences and everybody has a right to behave um, according to his own his own uh, understanding but then there is still general knowledge what we are talking about is referendum is democratic setting if there is anything democracy then this thing we are doing is democratic right because options of if you don't want to vote for Biafra is there. You, you have the option to say, no, I don't want to vote. You know, just make sure you participate in what we are doing. Do not kidnap anybody. Release those that you have uh, already kidnapped. That is height of foolishness. I tell you the truth. If this happened to be organized by Mieti Allah or the Fulanese, you see every Aboki on the roadside. You will not see them by now. They must have gone home to vote. They will guide them, they will carry their phones and do it for them. But no, our people are now the ones seizing you know, people's phone, harassing people that are voting. That is evil for you. I don't know who has done this to Ndebo. Onye did Ndebo, I'm asking. I ask again. This question, nobody has uh, answered it. Uh, but I still take you to people's reaction. Let it not be that... Uh, my opinion is different from what they are saying. Some people say the intimidation is becoming too much and we can no longer tolerate such nonsense again in Biafra land. I know what the Biafra government... So people are very angry concerning this incident. How can you be arresting people that are educating others, putting them through as to just you know exercise their franchise? Exercising of franchise is a right, inalienable right. Everybody has right to say yes or no. If the person says no, you will not kill the person because of it. Let us know that this is a democratic setting. We know Nigeria has not known anything democracy. All they know is thuggery, all they know is forgery and killings. They force people against their own will. Is that what you want to transfer to Biafra? It's not going to work because there's no need us uh, getting Biafra and it will be the same thing like Nigeria. Please, let us be uh, guided, okay? Everybody should be guided. The vigilante group, you have to be guided. Stop that mess. Stop it before you invoke wrath of Biafra on yourself, all right? Mazina Bekano is suffering because he called for referendum. Now that we are doing self-referendum, because if we wait for Nigeria, we'll wait forever. 
and that's what they want us to wait forever. But they don't, they have suddenly forgotten that there is actually something like self-referendum, and that is the major one. Nobody will read this one, it's done on your phone. If you say yes, it will be recorded yes. If you say no, it will be recorded no. So why are you arresting people, harassing people, and uh, probably hijacking people? That's bad. That is too bad. You know, unheard of. Yoruba people will never do it. If they are the ones that organize themselves to this point, like it has got to the point of voting, then it is it is a done deal. And people should have known this. But now that we've got to this point and they still want to shatter it that we'll be able to that we will start afresh or we'll be mocked, we will not be mocked. Rather we will mock you this time. You understand? Hence, you don't want to be reasonable. Hence, you don't want to be helpful to your own land. Then you will pay for whatever um, a problem you are causing to your region. The traditional ruler of that Okeja, I hope you are seeing what is going on. That is how you people will be keeping quiet when things are going wrong. You only answer the enemies when they give you money. You answer them and do their biddings. But when things are supposed to be done in the proper perspective, in your own locality, you will not do it. So, so why are you there? Somebody now say they are Igwe of Okeja. Tell your vigilante to release Biafras. They kidnapped immediately before the anger of Biafra Liberation Army will fall upon them with Woto Woto Pro Max. <laughs> Somebody that said this message is very clear. What is wrong with some of us Igbos, you see? People who did not understand that madness. That madness got to the height. If you will not vote, you can stay. Then they will also, also also because the majority will carry the votes. You cannot, because you did not vote, you now start kidnapping those that are voting. Shame on you. Onye Mere, this thing organized, is a very, a very, very young guy. Simon Epa is a very young person to you. So that means he has sense, sense more than you, old person, old Igwe, old traditional rulers. You are not thinking of freedom. It's a pity. Well, we, don't, we can't just continue talking to such people anyways. But then if you have not voted, make sure you uh, have cast your vote. Not just you, tell people around you. Take their phones and help them to vote. Simple and short. You understand? That is how we grow and that we must have to continue on a May life, on a May, whether they like it or not. Bye bye, my dear people.